the musical spirit of Bach transcends all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't exile me. Why, hello, it's me again. I have something funny to share with you. It's by Leopold Auer. <laughs> it's about Bach. I kind of agree. And oh man, you're not supposed to say what your opinions of Bach are because then you'll be exiled from the music community. <laughs> okay. This is this sentence. Okay, listen up. I'm not in a classroom. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe you're all my students. I'm sure you could teach me a thing or two. I should probably read now. Another century, other music. Other music, another style. Of course, we do not play Bach as we play Tchaikovsky. But that is not really because tradition tells us that Bach requires a different interpretation. Musical instinct is sufficient. We play Bach differently because his music itself makes us observe certain canons of taste, canons of taste, certain modes of expressional procedure in presenting his sonatas or his concerti. But I again insist that it is not because of any traditional feeling, no, no, at least it should not be. For Bach's works rise far above all considerations of historical style and their grandeur and majesty, their soul and charm. We play them <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> this is really funny. We play them, or try to play them, as box music should be played. <sighs> Hold on. That's perfect. We play them, or try to play them, as box music should be played, reverently, almost as a rite of the sacrosanct mass of beauty, expressing as best we may, individually, all that they convey. Probably no great violinist of today plays the Bach sonatas as they were played by the well-known violinists of Bach's own day. Yet, despite the fact that the player may be centuries removed from the interpretive spirit of Bach's time, he may play Bach's sonatas better than they were wont to be played then. The musical spirit of Bach transcends all narrow limitations of period. And the artist of today who truly enters into this spirit will play Bach as he should be played. And will play Bach better because he will play him in the interpretive spirit of our own generation, not that of 1720. Not that of 1720. That's so good. I love it. That's just... See, the reason I, I don't come up with more descriptors is because I don't want to say something that I'll regret. <laughs> I really think that that is wonderful. I'm so glad somebody said it. I certainly do love hearing different interpretations of Bach, different period style instruments. That's all really fun and neat. But I also think that point, hold on, hold on, hold the phone, that point where it is the musical spirit of Bach transcends all narrow limitations of period. And the artist of today who truly enters into this spirit will play Bach as he should be played. That's the musical spirit of Bach transcends all. Oh. Okay, <laughs> don't exile me.